I'm Kyra. Little girl. This is Kylo. This big dog right on top of us. Hello. Get those crap on his eye. Um, first video. Um, got Walking Dead on in the background. Love zombie films. Uh, gotta love zombie films. Uh, zombie films are so awesome. Um, headshots! Um, yeah. Uh, Rick just done a headshot on a little girl. She was a zombie. Don't worry. Like, I don't think Rick would shoot an actual child unless, of course, they were a zombie. Uh, um, gotta love shooting zombies. Uh, got a story we're writing right now uh, called A Zombie Story, uh, which follows these army brats who are currently based in London, and um, one of them is immune to the zombie virus because she has visions. Uh, another is immune no, to seriously. the zombie virus because she is an empath, yeah, woman, which up, means uh, she can feel how other people are feeling and gone. everything. So she knows, basically. Um, so uh, another yeah, one uh, is immune because she has a on, dormant disease, which is fatal, <laughs> laying inside of her, waiting to be activated. And um, the brother of these three girls, uh, he is immune because he just has a really, really good immune system. Uh, as on the Somni story, basically, <laughs> Has three kinds of zombies. Zombies made by vampires. Maybe you and every other pair of boobs. Zombies made by werewolves. And zombies made by zombies. The vampires live on one island, which I'm probably thinking would be Alaska, because you know the 30 days of night would be ideal for a vampire. Why hello. Um. Also, the cold, vampires wouldn't feel cold as much, you know, and plus people probably would think that a cold place would probably be a good way to get away from the zombies. Um, <coughs> the vampire zombies, they um, are frozen in the daylight, so they can't move. Um, they can climb up walls like a vampire. Uh, they have sonar uh, vision, which means they just scream and, you know, whatever's like there will obviously send back a rebounding signal and, you know, they then feed. Um, the werewolf zombies, they have bits of fur sprouting up all over the place, you know, they have their skin which is peeling off, kind of like it in the American Werewolf in London. Good film. I uh, would recommend seeing that. Um, they also are frozen in the daylight, and then you have the zombies that make zombies. Uh, basically, vampire zombies and werewolf zombies cannot make others like them, they just make normal zombies, you know, who are still mostly immobilized but can move their head and follow prey. Kind of like Silent Hill. Another good film. <laughs> um, uh, Kylie, can you get down, please? Kylie. Kylie! Oh! Oh! Thank you! We always, always, always put been watching a lot of zombie videos online on YouTube. So, like, um, obviously, as an army kid, they would have more available to them. So, you know, they'd be able to have, like, their, probably their choice in any weapons they wanted. They'd be able to have vehicles that no other person would have. They'd be able to go 
survive that kind of zombie apocalypse and I really want a zombie apocalypse. I love zombies. Like I would die either by zombies chewing me to pieces or a vampire orgy. Just don't quote me on the vampires. <laughs> um I have got um some characters who I would prefer to play certain characters. Playing herself like a, a 
regular YouTuber, you know, um, it would be really cool. So, like, you know, I did send her a comment about it, like, um, asking her to do a video about, like, what she would do in a zombie apocalypse and also if she would take a part in a zombie movie. You know, she had to hear a reply from her, yet, though, so um, don't ca count your sheep too early. Mm. That reminds me of a really crap joke. What did the sheep say to the Welshman? Have you been a bad boy? It's a really crap joke. Like, I heard it, like, um, from a friend in college, and, you know, he, he was Welsh, so, you know, him saying it wasn't probably that bad, but it, coming from my mouth probably sounds a bit worse. <laughs> no racism intended, just, just so you know. My grandpa was black. He called me a white chocolate bun. A white chocolate bun. Yes, I look white. Yes, my grandpa's black. Now said. Just dyed my hair today. Um, uh, this side kind of went wrong, but yeah. Don't really have the bleach powder to correct it. It was only supposed to come to here. But, like, um, I put too much dye in the bowl, so I ended up just going over. This side, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's supposed to be, like, purple, but it's, like, um, it's not really come out, like, purple. I, I can see some green in there, and no, no. Um, I used this, but I'm not sure if they're like animal free or not like if they're not can you please tell me and like correctify the situation because i'm not okay with using stuff used by animals as you can see i've got a dog just here i don't i don't see that as much point you got dirt on your eye again you are so stupid love you though um an oil extraction platform would be a really good place to hide during a, during a zombie uh, during a zombie apocalypse because it's like raised above sea level for one. Uh, the only real possible ways in are helicopter. Doubt there's going to be a lot of people flying helicopters because you know the gas would be so hard to come by and it. There'd be a lot of chances of crashing, let's just say that. And with the werewolf zombies, you'd be more afraid of the werewolf zombies actually jumping into the plane. Because, you know, parkour, don't, you know, don't be too close to the rooftops. Uh, but they generally, in a zombie story, they generally don't tend to go for the main characters or the other people that are immune. Like, there's either going to be 7 or 17 that are immune. I haven't quite decided yet. But, like, they're, all their blood collectively is what's going to stop the zombie apocalypse. And, you know, they have to go around the world and collect these scientists anyway. So the scientists are going to be the ones to deliver the meds and everything. Sorry for freaking you out. <laughs> Freak the dog out. Okay. Um... What you don't want to do is throw out an apocalyptic party because the abuse, the loud music, equals dinner. It equals dinner. Like, a zombie is drawn to any sound they hear. It's also drawn on sight. Like, if it sees something, it doesn't hear anything, it will go towards what it sees. You know? It's just natural zombie reflexes, natural predatory reflexes as well. Sometimes prey even does it, like they see something move and they like go over to investigate. What are you? What are you? Basically it's just like, what are you doing? So, uh, you don't want to hide in the research lab either. Uh, chances are, a mad scientist is the one who released the plague anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Diet or whatever like that, but, um, well, 
Yeah, I just bleached my like hair this morning. Um, obviously, not all of it was bleached this morning. It has been multiple bleaches over. Um, I do like my um, my hair because it's not even. You know, I like my odd hair. It, it's really nice and odd. I love it. <sighs> um, uh, okay. I'm going to stop this one.